Well, hello everyone. Today, I would like to talk about how to amplify reach and influence with the Wired PR 4D content marketing framework. How do you package your brand marketing content to get it out there so that people can find you, learn more about who you are, what you do, and what your call to action is? I have the answer. As well as a professional speaker, I am also a marketing and PR consultant and advisor. To simplify what can be a very complex subject, I created a system to streamline marketing and to make it easier for everyone. It's called Wired PR Works in 4D. And this is a program for virtual presentations to groups, hands-on fear-free workshops, online courses, and one-on-one -on -one consulting for sales teams, marketing teams, and not-for-profits. And here's how it works. We start out with the centerpiece, which is PR. I'm redefining PR as influence equals personality and reputation. And when we focus on the center of PR, we really ask, you know, what personality do you want to portray right now? You can take a personality to test to find out, or you can project the personality you want people to see. Keep in mind that your reputation is always available for people to comment on online. So you may think you have one reputation and other people might see a completely different reputation than what you think you have. It's really important to have those aligned. Because your personality and reputation are the centerpiece of your branding and marketing, I want you to own that. Experts are endorsed, followed, and shared. So once you have your personality and reputation dialed in, then we want to talk about the Wired Content Marketing Framework. This is a system that is fi a five-prong approach to simplify the whole marketing process into words, intentions, routes, experiences, and design. So let's start with words. And I actually started out as a writer. That's the first thing I did with my business as a consultant. I was a marketing communications writer. I love words, and words are very powerful. What I would like you to do is to have a collection of words, everything from a tagline for your business to keywords that you use for search, hashtags for social, along with content for articles, posts, and presentation. So start collecting and curating your words. As a professional writer, one of my favorite words is perennial. I also love flowers, and so I love that word perennial. Because I love gardening, I managed to slide the word perennial into lots of projects. So think about what words do you love and what words would you like to use more often? The next part is intentions. And an intention is a feeling around getting to a destination. It's the way you approach a journey. Yes, you have goals. What do you want to feel like on your way to get there? Intention means to stretch and grow. As you set your intentions, ask yourself, why am I doing this? What feels good about it? Set your intentions before every move you make. Everything from sending a text and an email to stepping on the stage. Now, what do you want to get out of this experience? What do you want people to get out of it? For example, my intention here is to create an audio podcast for you, and I want to have fun, and I want you to learn how to streamline your marketing. So that was my intention. The next part is routes. Choosing where to best spend your marketing time and money is important and it's difficult. There are so many different ways to invest time and money today, but it's not difficult if you have a map that shows you the most direct routes. Google Maps gives you turn-by-turn -turn directions on how to get from point A to point B. You could walk, you can take public transportation, or you can drive with or without traffic and highways. You can even see where traffic is congested. What I want you to choose is the fastest route, fastest route that leads directly to where people are with no stops. The first step is choosing your target group. The next is aligning your marketing with the best channels. For example, if your target group is millennials, Instagram may be a marketing, better marketing route than Facebook, or TikTok may be a better marketing route than Instagram. You can have more than one router channel, and you should, but don't overdo. Stick with the top two or three channels your perfect customers are tuned into. If you have no clients or prospects interacting with you on a channel, don't even go in that direction. For example, maybe you love Instagram, but all your clients are B2B. So have fun on Instagram as like your personal channel and make all your business happen where it belongs on LinkedIn. Only travel the routes that take you directly to where your most profitable clients would be, the ones who would most need to have you solve their problems. Experiences are the next piece. 
In marketing, we talk about the buyer or customer experience journey. It's everything from how people find out about you to how they research you to what it's like when you start working together to get referrals. What is it like to work with you? How would you describe your customer experience? The best way to convey your customer experience is via storytelling. And my storytelling method is called CPR, which is challenge process results. For those of you who like to start with the end goal, you can even flip it over to result process challenge. Build a collection of CPR stories around experiences that feature the hero, which is your client, not you. The Wired Content Marketing Design Framework is in 4D. I used to just say words, intentions, routes, experiences, and design, and then someone said, well, what is the design? So I thought about it, and it was designed in 3D, and now today it's designed in 4D, which rounds out the system in the areas of digital, direct, dynamic, and data. So let's start with digital. Today, everyone is an online screen store. How happy are you with your digital persona in search and social? Are you the online screen star you want people to see? Could you have a shinier reputation and a better image of brighter persona? Think about your digital profiles. That's what you need to work on. The next part is direct. How do you talk to people? What kinds of conversations do you want to have and where? Plan your communications out ahead of time around how do you want to relate to people and where you want the conversation to go. This is both in-person, email conversations, could even be LinkedIn connections, but really think about how you're gonna to have touch points with, with people throughout either your customer journey or your customer experience journey. You want to make sure that you're communicating in the best way possible. Let's move on to dynamic, or what is the fizz in your pop? What makes you unique and different? For me, photography is a differentiator. I'm sure a lot of speakers have photography in their presentations. Mine is mine and yours is yours. Every picture tells a story. And if you have another type of interest that makes you unique, bring it forward. You don't have to make it the only thing about you, but it does add a different dimension that people can see and they can get related to you beyond just straight business. So really having some dynamic aspects and angles in your personality and your, your communications can elevate you beyond the competition and really make you stand out as someone who's interesting. Something simple you can do is do a video. Videos really get great return, especially on Instagram if you're using Instagram as one of your channels. If you record a reel, which is only 15 seconds, you can get a lot of views. I, I had one that after only seven hours had 1800 views and it's only 15 seconds. So think about what you can do to really come alive. Last but not least is data. How are you going to measure your success? One way is to track where your leads are coming from. You can measure ROI by looking at the time or money invested divided by the results or sales. Keep in mind that what may seem like a big investment in time can pay off in visibility and leadership stance. So now you know how to increase your influence and go from being invisible to invincible with the Wired PR and 4D system. Words, intentions, routes, experiences, and 4D design. Digital, direct, dynamic, and data around your signature identity, your personality, and reputation. Thanks for joining me on this episode of Growing Social Now. Please remember to like and subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts.